here. I'm late, late, late. Hello. I see some comments. Let's see who is here. Oh my gosh. All right. I see some people. I'm late, late, late. I just got back from Jazzercise. Oh my gosh. We're going to have a visitor around here. Miss Rowena is being nosy, rosy. Hey, Miss Nosy, rosy. Let's look at Miss Rowena. Hey, girl, look up here. What are you doing, Ro? Huh? She's like, where have you been? I got to get my electrolyte water in, you guys. Yeah. Electrolyte water, Rowena. She don't like electrolytes. She might eat electrolytes. I don't know. So, you guys, I thought we could jump in the car, but I can't because I'm not tied So to the internet. But next week... There's a guy down the road from me, and I don't know if y'all remember, last year we did this, he lights up his house and has like his own light show, and I mean, y'all, I mean, it's in the holler. Like, I don't know who drives through there to see his light show, but me, because I know that it's there, but that is what we're going to do next week. Guess what tomorrow night is? Tomorrow night is me and mama's annual um, Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Oh my gosh, let me know if you guys have been to the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Tonight we are going to give away a book. I don't know what it is. I wrapped it. Don't know what it is. Wrapped a bunch of them. I hope that you're following on our, um, yeah, if you're new here, welcome. I do not have anything formal. I don't ever do anything formal. I just get on here and say, hey, what's up? So, sorry guys, I was jazzercising. I'm hot, hot and sweaty and stinky. I did put on a little lip gloss. <laughs> mm. And remember we were talking about mugs. Got me one, a Stanley. I mean, Eddie used to take these big Stanley mugs to work years ago. And now they're like popular again with the kids. My son Brady, his girlfriend has one. And I'm like, oh my gosh, Lindsay, I love it. So, I got me one. She says it's all the rage. So, I guess I am all the rage, which I'm not. Totally not, or I would be much better at this whole social media thing. Regardless, we're giving away a book tonight. Just a lucky comment. So, let's see who else here. Um, hello, Beach Bum Bookworm. Happy Tuesday. She is coming to us on YouTube. Hey, Jane, how are you? You found me. I saw earlier you said, um, it says five. It says five. Um, it's six my time. I don't know what time it is where you live. Um, hey, Leslie Lawrence and Charlene is here. Tanya Jackson from Illinois. Hey, Dwayne, how are you? Dwayne, how are you liking your art copy of Gifts Glamping? and Glocks. How fun is that? Hey, Elisa, how are you? Hey, Marilyn. Marilyn, I got your message in Patreon, and they have not gone out yet. Uh, everybody in my Patreon group uh, at the Super Sleuth level, they get every book in print. Unfortunately, my books don't come out the same day as they release um, in ebook and they could, I could really do that, but here's the situation. Um, I don't know if you guys get book bub emails. So if you release a print book, the same time you release, release an ebook, then book bub does not tell your followers that you have a release. They're like, you don't qualify because it came out first. So they base their email, their emails to all the readers on, um, their, uh, ebooks. So unfortunately, they don't allow me to. Well, they do. I could, but I have a, like 10,000 followers there that aren't on social media. And so that's how they learn about my new releases. Or maybe they should sign up for my newsletter. Either way, so they don't come out so that I can't purchase the books. So when I purchase the hundred and something books to give to the super sluice, then it takes them a while to print those. So then I usually get them about two weeks after release and then they get here. I have to sign them all 
Eddie packages them all up the day that I sign them. And then we have to get them stamped and we send them media mail since they're books only. And it takes like five days to get to you. So I haven't gotten them yet, but you know, I will post in our Patreon group. Also, I hope you're enjoying New Year's Nuisance. Oh my gosh. So I got the blurb for New Year's Nuisance all written up. I'm going to um, read it to you. If you do not know what that is, that I think I can share my screen. Oh, ooh, let me share my screen. Um, share screen. How fun is this? I'm going to share my screen. Ah, I'm like there. One, two, three times, four times. That's creepy. So let's go to Amazon and we're going to look up uh, Tanya Kappas, New Year's Nuisance, New Year's, New Year Nuisance, Nuisance Kappas there. And oh, look, Heather, she's targeting me. That's what that means. So if you look up something, then they're targeting you. And so like my friend Addison has an ad that's targeting me because it's sponsored Cindy has an ad that's targeting me. There I am. So let's look up New Year's. So right now I'm currently writing. Uh, uh, I'm not writing it, but I'm a little bit at a time giving it to our Patreon group. They get every book in the Holiday Cozy Mystery Series um, for Patreon. And this is this is why I actually wrote this series for Patreon. I um, wanted them to be able to have something like a daily serial when I started that back in the first book. And so I still release this to my Patreon members that are $5 and up. So anyways, here's the blurb. New Year's Eve has always been a special time for the small town Holiday Junction with its annual tradition, the Sparkle Ball along with the town merrymaker spreading joy and cheer to all its residents. But this year, the joy is short-lived when local nuisance and troublemaker Hillary Stevens is found murdered in the holiday town's mini village. As the town's resident nosy journalist, Violet Reinhammer is determined to uncover the truth behind Hillary's murder and bring the killer to justice. But her investigation is complicated by her own secret she is the town merrymaker and must keep her identity hidden from Mae West, her best friend who is visiting for the festive town sparkle ball. With suspects at every turn in a town full of secrets, Violet must use her keen investigative skills and de determination to uncover the truth before the killer strikes again. Will she be able to solve the mystery and bring the killer to justice or will her own secrets be her downfall? New Year's Nuisance is a gripping tale of mystery and intrigue, perfect for fans of small town crime novels. With well-developed characters and a twisting plot, this book will keep you guessing at every end. <laughs> so I think that is so funny. So um, that is, so yeah, so I actually, it's so like, dark in here y'all I'll tell you about that in a minute but anyways so um I so May is in Holiday Junction visiting um Violet and you know one of the funniest things is if you follow the series there is what's called the Merrymaker and it's kind of like a no one knows who the Merrymaker is but it's handed down um generations it's been in the place it's been in a tradition in Holly Junction for hundreds of years. And so when Violet, you know, left um, the Camper series and got her own series, it just kind of fell into her hands, of course. So she has to, um, and she wasn't necessarily supposed to be the next Mary Maker, but it just kind of happened like that. So if you think about the Santa Claus, the movie, where uh, he falls off the roof and all of a sudden um, Santa Claus is dead. And so now Scott, you know, that place, um, the Santa Claus is now the new um, Santa Claus. So it's kind of a take on that, but it's not paranormal. It's just um, the job. So of course she can't tell Mae West and, you know, Violet has her own kind of romance with Darren Strickland, who is the chief's 
son. And so he has to help her be Mary Maker because that was in another book. So it is so funny because she's put May up at the Jubilee Inn, which is the local um, hotel where Mayor Paisley, the dog, who is the mayor, lives with Christine, the owner. But anyways, but May's like, no, I'm going to stay at your place. And so Violet's like, no, because Violet has to do the Merrymaker stuff in the middle of the night. So she knows that if May stays in her one room garage apartment, li lives behind her mama, Millie Kay, who has brought, who also moved to Holiday Junction after Violet. So Violet's parents moved to Holiday Junction and Millie Kay brings the Southern to the series. So it's like having May's um, foster mom there. Um, or even a Dottie in Holiday Junction. So her mama brings the, um, the Southern big time. So anyways, I'm going to give you a sneak peek because it's funny. So May is all excited about the, um, about the death, of course. So I'll read one little part just super fast because it cracks me up. When May says, um, May says something like, well, uncork the bubbly. <laughs> Eerily, the usually festive words fell out of May's mouth were muttered. Looks like you've got yourself a front page story. <clears throat> the countdown was on and I wasn't referring to the new year. So um, May is bound and determined to help Violet solve this. So it's really interesting writing May as a secondary character to Violet. But one thing that happens is that May or Violet thinks that she's so sneaky and she sneaks out in the middle of the night to meet because May is like, oh, I know you're dating Darren Strickland. I know, you know, you're you're in love with him when they're really trying to be co-merry makers, although Violet really is in love with him. It's just not there yet. And so um, she catches May or Violet and Darren Strickland um, sneak in through the woods to go get this thing for the Merrymaker. Um, and she jumps out and catches them. And it's it's hilarious. Like I was writing that scene. Um, not writing it, but I was editing that scene today for the Patreon group to put up this week. And I was laughing. So anyways, Marilyn, I'm sure enough of that. <laughs> but I am happy to see you. So has anybody started that series yet? I hope so. Miss Marilyn is from Ohio. Hello, Sylvia. How are you? Hey, KJT. Thanks for posting about this. Oh, you posted about it. Thank you so much. I did not know you posted about it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, hello, Miss Karen. Karen is our resident assistant. She is um, recovering from COVID and we love Karen. And if you don't belong to the Cozy Crew, jump over. You should. Um, hello, Deborah. How are you? Hey, Angie. How are you? Look, all our people from No Problem Wanting to Support the Cozy Officer. Thank you so much. So you guys, if y'all are on YouTube or you follow me on YouTube, jump over there and follow these lovely YouTube bookstagrammers. Love that. Um, and I will make sure that, I, you know what, I'm going to do it right now. I'm going to head over to YouTube because that's how I roll and I'm going to follow you because I don't think I follow you. I don't really follow many people over there because I don't really know how to do it that well. The Beach Bum Bookworm. Let's see. Uh-oh, y'all hear that? That is Eddie downstairs working. Oh, subscribe. I just subscribed to you. Whoop, whoop. Yay. Um, let's see. Where is Cajun? Cajun, where are you? I'm going to subscribe to you as well. Um, yes, I am. Cajun Peach, where are you? Oh, you know what? Did you... Um, Beach Bum, did you put that in your community? Do you do like a, oh, you did a community. Let's see. Oh, you haven't posted anything yet. How did she know that I was going to be live? So you're going to have to tell me because I got to find. So um, like it's a whole community over there on F Facebook, people. If you do not, if you are not on, um, no kidding. If you're not on YouTube, like it's a whole thing. 
Like I love being over there. So awesome. So but I'll get over there and try to find you, Cajun. And um, hello, Linda. How are you? I hope you're coming to the sock exchange on the 11th. We have a sock exchange. Hello, Sherry Ann in um, our um, Patreon group on the 11th. Hey, Linda, how are you? I haven't seen you in so long. Oh, cute kitty. Oh, yeah, she's sitting here next to me. Actually, we were going to look at her. Row, row. Give her smoochies. Give her some smoochy moochies. Um, I was going to show you guys something. If I can jump on Facebook, you guys are going to crack up. A lot of you guys are the OGs. Y'all have been here for so long. Let me find um, this because I think that you're going to crack up. If I can find it, I'm not very good at finding memories. Memories. Um, and I'm not a good singer either. Do y'all know how to find memories on Facebook? Because it was really, really funny. And then we're going to get to picking prizes and doing some fun stuff. Oh, memories. Okay, so I'm going to have to share my memories um, with you guys. Because a lot of you OGs are going to see this and crack up. I'm going to share my screen again. Okay, share screen. Share. Look at that. <gasps> Do y'all remember Kitty Kappas? Look at Kitty Kappas. Oh my gosh, this was from 2013, y'all. And I know y'all remember my sweet Charlie boy. And there's Kitty Kappas. Kitty Kappas was one to oh, reckon with, wasn't she? She was the grumpiest cat. Oh man, she was grumpy. Do y'all remember how I got her? Wasn't that fun? Mm. Hello, Miss Rowe. Hello, Polly. Hello, Mary. Hi, Linda. Linda is from here from YouTube as well. I'm telling y'all, come to YouTube. Hey, Kathleen. Hey, Polly. I have to, be, uh, I've been to TSO. Yes, it's great. So me and mama go every year. So, um, you know, last year mama had her accident. So um, we were recovering from that. Um, so we didn't get to go last year. That was the first year we did not get to go. Um, but, um, and then the year before that was COVID. So it was, um, actually on TV. So we rented it that year. And so tomorrow night we go and we got to supper and we have us a good time. And I have a feeling we're going to probably go to like Ramsey's where there's like fried bologna and some biscuits and gravy and all the good fat stuff we like um cornbread they got cornbread they got beans and i love me some soup beans with onion oh my god and a big old slap of butter mm. <sighs> smack my mama um well hey regina regina is also from i know regina from instagram and youtube i gotta follow you too on youtube i gotta get better at following people y'all have got to tell me hey betsy how to do that um, you look great for doing jazzercise. <laughs> well, thanks. I'm not, I'm a sweaty hot mess and I probably stink too, but that's all right. Y'all can't smell, can you? Um, hello, Miss Leslie. Um, Kathleen said that she hasn't seen, but would love to. And let me tell you what, it is a show. So if you're not used and I'll go live tomorrow night. So y'all make sure y'all are on Facebook. Cause y'all know I go live every year on TSO. Um, but what happened is that they are a rock opera. So if you're not used to rock opera, I think, so it's so funny because people pile in with their little kids. They all got their little cute little Lily Pulitzer outfits on for Christmas. And they all match. The daddies have on their plaid coats and, and the mamas have on their little, little um, dresses that match the little kids. The little boys have on their bow ties, all the families. And um, so they play the Christmas stuff first, like the first part, like the first hour and a half. It's like a Christmas story. And then they do intermission because if you're not used to the TSO, the whole second half is a seriously a rock opera concert. It's not their normal Christmas stuff that you're used to, but um, it is rock opera and it's a concert so and it's not a Christmas concert so all of a sudden you see people like looking around like what is this after intermission because they think that it's going to be this 
great Christmas show continued and it's not. So I love to see parents like grab their kids and scurry on out. Um, but here's the situation. So I've been going to see them for so long. So, you know, when I, when I first went to see them, you know, 10, 12 years ago, how long is it? you know, they were like shaking their heads and, rah, 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 and now they just kind of, cause they're getting older. <laughs> And it's really kind of funny, but it's a great show. I still love it. Hello, Federica. She is, I think it's like midnight there. And you're still up. Love it. Love it. Um, let's see. I love your mug. My Stanley, my Stanley mug. It's the best. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Hello. Hello. How are you, Lisa? Hey, Stephanie. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Crystal. Hello, Tanya Jackson. You've not been here for a while. Where have you been? Where have you been? So anyways, guys, we are going to pull a couple of prizes and I've got a surprise. Stay right here. Do not move. Because I forgot to get it. Guess who's here? Guess who's here? <gasps> Spinny! Ah! Look how much fun that is! Does anybody... I don't know if you're new here. If you're new here, then you don't know Spinny. If you aren't new to me, you know Spinny. If you've been to an event with me, you know Spinny. So Spinny has prizes on the wheel. So how we play Spinny, uh-oh, Rowena, watch out. How we play Spinny is that in a few minutes, I'm going to ask everybody to put a color and on the spinny wheel, what color you want. And I'm so professional how I pick somebody to spin is I just kind of go and wherever my finger lands is who gets to um, spin the wheel. And if you land on your color, then you win what's there on the wheel. So in a few minutes, but you guys look at all of these Christmas cards y'all have sent. Y'all are amazing. I'm like, oh my gosh, look at that one. Meow, Christmas, a meowie. This is from Pam, our friend Pam. Um, there's been so many cool things that y'all have sent. Oh my goodness, and look at this one. A little camper, and this is so funny what she wrote. She wrote, a wannabe laundry club lady. And this is from our friend Elena. And she also sent some stickers, which I love. Rowena's like, can you move Spinny? No, Rowena. Look at she's getting all up in the cards. And she's going to sit in the card box. So I put all the cards in the box. I also got um, an, a beautiful, beautiful ornament today from our, oh, well, oh, look at this. So Candy Dalton, she sent this one. And look how cute she made little bookmarks. And then um, she put the, the signs on the back. So I will know that they're always from her. And then I got a beautiful ornament from Marsha, from Charlotte. How pretty is that? I mean, you guys are so special. And then look at this. I love the, like, all, I think all of these are homemade cards. I mean, seriously, I've gotten so many beautiful homemade cards. Um, I just love that. And then she got me a bookmark. And she says it's from one of her favorite places. It's the Desert Museum. How cool is that? So you guys are a blessing. Thank you so much. Um, and then I got this cute little one um, from Lisa. And she sends a really cool bookmark as well. Because, yes, I do read books, print books. I love print books. Oh, and look at this one. Another one. It says, Peace on Earth. <gasps> and she made it. I mean, seriously. Look at that. And on the back, she did Happy Trails. I mean, you guys are so creative. I mean, I'm just mesmerized at all of them. And then um, I think there's a couple of more homemade ones but if not I still love them all like I love like that sparkly I don't know if you can kind of see the sparkle 
Um, and that's from B. Thank you, thank you. And this is from Sonia. So cute. I love it all. But you guys, I get them all. And I love to like take pictures. So, you know, like here's another, I think, homemade one as well. That's really cool. That's from our friend Marsha Cole. And here's another. It looks like homemade one as well. And this is from our, our friend Margie. Oh, my gosh. You guys are just so talented. I mean, I just can't get over it. They're just beautiful, just beautiful. So you guys, I am getting your cards and somebody snickered me and put in a bunch of glitter. So when I opened it, it went, Boo! and Rowena was like batting it around. <laughs> but I am so honored, you guys. And look at that. Isn't that cute with the snow globe? I love a snow globe. Um, and this is from um, Carl Candy and the Kitties. And so I think that is adorable. So speaking of snow globes, I get a lot. And I even have, we'll just kind of walk around. And then we'll do spinning here in a second and pick some prizes. So I do snow globes. Like, ah, where's this one? So I love my Christmas snow globe with Santa. Isn't he cute? Just a little camper. So cute. It's heavy, too. But I like that one. And um, so I've had a lot of snow globes all my life. And so my kids have always gotten me some snow globes as well. So, um, and then I need to turn on this. Let's see. We'll go into my guest bedroom where I'm calling it Christmas Wrapping Paper Central. And so I have all these cute little snow globes. See this one? And they make, they play, they play music. So there's the snowman. And then there's a tree. Here we'll sit on the bed. And then like the tree. So, so cute. And they all play music. And then I've got, um, let's see, an angel, cute angel. And the little penguin, love the little penguin. He's so cute. And then a drummer boy, a little drummer boy. So I have a bunch of those that I sit around. So you can see I've started like all the stockings are kind of in here. <laughs> I've been wrapping. Rowena, come in here. And if somebody stays with me, they have their own curry. And oh, here's another Christmas tree. That's one of my Christmas trees. You can see it. That's my sock exchange, buddy. I haven't opened it yet because I'm opening it up on um, uh, the sock exchange. So then here's my front porch. You can't really, it's so dark in the woods. But um, there's another tree. See, I've got lots of trees, y'all. And then I've changed my rocking chair picture, my rocking porch uh, pillows. You can't really see my rocking chairs. I could turn on the the light, but all my rocking chairs have um, new pillows in them for the thing. It's raining here. And then I have my village, you know, some of my Christmas village. And then another tree. And then I have one of my off. Rowena, stop. She's trying to attack me. And then I get so many awesome ornaments from you guys that those go. On my office tree so see all the ornaments and then our friend mary got she sent me this i love that isn't that cute so she sent me that so that's my ornament tree where i keep all of my reader ornaments big i keep it up all year round because i love my ornaments and then take you outside so you can see the outside tree we'll get on rowena's catio and I have, oops, the small trees on the catio so Rowena can destroy them. And then I have my outside Christmas tree by the pond and my fairy lights. <laughs> so cute. I decorate for me for sure. So anyways, let's see. So that is, oh, and then I have my, my ceramic tree, which I bring, um, I usually have my camper, but 
Eddie is working on the camper, so I brought it in this year. And then another reader sent me this cute little camper sweater that's an ornament from 2020. And instead of hanging it, I put it on my little um, star and make it the top. See how cute that is? <laughs> oh my gosh. So anyways, I am a goofball. So what I need you to do now is while we go, um, while we talk about something else even more fun, um, name a color in the chat so we can do a spinning. But first off, I'm going to hang this up. Can y'all see it? Let's see. We'll hang it up. So if you don't know why I have these things up, is because I am in charge of the Twisty Tales group. So Twisty Tales is the 60 authors that we're um, giving away a book for the next year. And so I'm in charge of that group. And I spearheaded it and got all the 60 authors together. So if you haven't picked up all 60 books for free, do so. Because come September 2023, it seems like it's far off. But it'll be here before you know it. Um, we are going to start charging. So you want to get them now for free. And so what I've been doing is I have been interviewing all of the authors so I can promote them and help help promote them and all that good stuff. So um, I hope you've been enjoying those. I know on my YouTube page, you can grab them there. I also have a podcast call, is called Shooting the Breeze. So this week I posted uh, Melissa Bourbon's interview and I've known Melissa for so long. We had so much fun chatting. So I just hang these up <laughs> behind me. So I have some kind of backdrop because, you know, I'm fancy like that. And so anyways, um, that is what um, I did. So because um, I just am not that fancy. Um, so that is why I hang that up, but I'm hanging those up right now because, um, let's see, I'm hanging that, I so I hang them, but the reason why I'm hanging this one up, you guys, is because um, First Magazine has picked Vices, Vistas, Vistas, Vices, and Valentines as their book club pick for their magazine, and we were talking about this the last time, and so I contacted the publisher for Tantor who owns the rights um, to the audiobooks or who, who's the producer. They don't own the rights, but the producers of the audiobooks. And so they're going to put it on sale for audio. And then I'm going to put it on sale for 99 cents. Um, and I think the paperback gets to go on sale as well. And so um, I'm really going to try to push this book. So I'm really excited about that. And then we're going to do something really fun to help spread the word. So to, I'm going to bribe you. I have no problem. I have no problem with bribing people. But I'm going to bribe you. And what it's going to be is if you go out and get the magazine that hits stores in January, it's the February issue. And I don't really understand this, but it's the January issue that comes out or it's the February issue that comes out in January. Something wrong with that. I don't know. Anyways, it's going to hit stands January the 12th. So if you have the magazine or if you're in the store and you take a picture of you with the pet magazine. So we've done this before. So let me see if I can find it. So when I was in Women's World, remember this? Um, I think Marsha Cole won. But... Oh, let me see. Uh oh, there's my Dottie cigarettes. Oh, ah, there goes my fairy. She fell. Um, I do have those magazines somewhere. I just don't know where. Y'all see, I'm just so unorganized. I'm not like them fancy other authors. <laughs> I, don't, I don't do none of that fancy stuff. But anyways, I was in, but anyway, where is it? Oh, well, so if you pick up the magazine, hey, Rowena, and you hold it open to the page, the book club page where you can see the picture and snap a photo of you holding it up, then I'm going to give away um, a $50 gift card. Yeah, how fun is that? 
Um, so that's what I'm doing. So that will happen in January. So if you're not on my newsletter list, get on my newsletter list. Um, and I ain't got the link to that. So you just gonna have to find that. So anyways, let's see. Um, hey, Stephanie to Rowena. Hello, Heather. Um, hello, hello. I'm going to follow all y'all on YouTube. It's five o'clock. Oh, I see what you're saying, Jane. There you go. What's up? Hello. Hello, Cheryl. Guys, make sure that you are, um, saying a color because we're going to do spinny here in a second we're going to do two spinnies we're going to do two in a row and then we are also going to give away a book boyfriend tonight i don't know what's in it i can't remember um we did them a long time ago allison um i messaged you in patreon back so hope you got that um and i hope you come to the sock exchange hey kathleen it's hot in louisiana it's going to storm Woo, girl, my friend, um, Tina DeSalvo, who is also a, a writer. I was talking to her yesterday and it was 70. And I'm like, it's 25 here. So um, yesterday, Eddie and I walked in the rain. So today I did Jazzercise inside. That's why I'm looking so ragged. Um, hello, Anne from Lexington. I will be in Lexington tomorrow night. Hello, Allison. Um, when would I get my book on Super Um, a couple months in Patreon for a year. Woohoo! Um, you will get your um turkeys and trappings has not come in yet, but usually the you get your like you'll get gifts, glamping and glocks um this week um as your ARC ebook copy, and then you will get the print book. Um, about four weeks after that, because I was just telling Mary that I don't get the print books when the, so you'll get your ebook before it comes out, but then you'll get the print book after it comes out. So I haven't gotten turkeys and trappings yet, but it's on its way. Um, you need Abby to help with social media. Abby, Abby who? Who? No sound for me. Oh no, Linda. Hey, hey. How are you? I'll see you in Patreon as well. Jane should get this release same as me. Um, sounds good. Hello, Donna. On YouTube, Beach Umbrella has Discord watching. Oh, how fun. Oh, how cool is that? I love Discord. Where does this fall in the camper? Because I read the order and don't want to spoil myself. Are you talking about bribes? Which book? This one or Vistas, Vices? Um, um, Vistas and Vices. Let me check um, where that comes from. Let's see. It's so funny because I can just type in Camper and Criminals and the books just pop up on Amazon. I have to go to Amazon. There's so many in this series and they can be read as standalones. So, um, you know, you might, if, what you're probably, so it just came out. Um, it is book number 24. So it came out this year in 2022. So, um, that's it, but you know, you can still get it. And if it's on sale and just read it later, um, her mama is a hoot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. You're talking about, um, uh, Violet's mama. I know Millie Kay. She is something else. Um, Colette says, I love your voice. Oh my gosh, Colette. Thank you. I can't stand it. Um, I like Violet. So you can't wait to read the new book when it comes out. Thank you, Heather, so much. Hello from Connecticut. Hello from Alabama. I started the holiday series. Thank you so much. Hello, Kathleen. Hey, Jennifer. Um, hey, Roxanne. Um, oh, thanks. You're welcome. Thanks, Karen. I thought it was my house making that noise. Eddie is like, yeah, Eddie has started building out the basement. So he needs an office, our big four room. Like literally, you just saw all four rooms except our bedroom. Like we have the family room, kitchen. We have the office where I took you in. We have the guest bedroom and then we have my bedroom. So we're in a four room house, which we love. It's perfect for us. But, you know, we have four grown men children and two of them don't live here. And they're, they'll all be here for Christmas, which I'm so excited. As you know, Jack is a basketball coach in Georgia at the um, Georgia Southern University. And they are playing Ball State on the 21st. And so he's actually, instead of flying back with the team, he's going to come back home with his mama 
it's two hours away from me. So we're driving up there and he's going to come home. And then I have to fly him back on Christmas morning. I've got to put him on a plane at six o'clock, but that's okay. But the point is, is we need um, some more room for all of our grown men boys to come back home. Not to live forever. Not having it. Famous last words. Um, hey, Rowena. Everybody's saying hello to you, Miss Roro. She is so cute. Love me some Ramsey's. Me too, girl. I love it. I love it. I love it. We usually go to the one on Harrodsburg Road because it's closer to Mama and Daddy. But we might go to the one downtown. I don't know. Um, hey, Tammy Hudson. Now, Tammy, you won one of the 25 days of book advent. I had an old address because I didn't get your message. I have an address for you. I hope it's right because the book went out. We need to get together somehow. Um, I have Holly Music on the Radio Transit. Of course, they're great. I haven't heard them in person. They are great. Uh, I don't have a YouTube channel, but hopefully one day I will have started going live on Instagram. I love your Instagram feed. And I love your mama and y'all's outfits. Oh, how cute is that? Um, let's see. Busy. Um, yeah, I know it's midnight there. Girl, I don't know how you do it. Busy hand making all my Christmas starts all in July. And oh my gosh, that's a lot. That is so many. So let's see who is our first person. Brrr, I should show y'all how I do this and do the share screen. Um, I have a tree in almost everything. Charlotte! red all right Charlene we are going to do spinny red are y'all ready are y'all ready for the spinning because it's so we are so professional here it's disgusting y'all so she got red woohoo red what did you win you won a blind book date look at that whoop 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 so you won a blind book date not just this one because this one is still for grabs but you won a blind book date. I am so happy for you. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Congratulations. We're going to do another spinny here in a second. Let me write that down or I'll forget. Um, better yet, Charlene, message me. Message me right now on Facebook and say, I want a book boyfriend with your um, mailing address. I'll get it out tomorrow, girl. Let's see. Um, she has trees in every room. Let's see. Tanya says all great trees. So was and all. Oh, thank you so much. It's just, you know, silly stuff, really. I love it. I love to decorate. I decorate for me. Um, and so for Chris, every year at Christmas Eve, we go to Japanese Steakhouse. <laughs> um, and we do, you guys know, we do ugly Christmas sweater. Um, so y'all know y'all been around, we've been doing this for 12 years together, me and you. And so, um, it's our annual ugly Christmas sweater again. And you know what? We had the lady pick, um, the winner and she always picks dad because she says, grandpa, grandpa wins. I'm like, it's a, it's a hundred dollar prize. So all the kids are 16 of us. Like I have nine people in my family. And so, and then my sister has her five and my mom and dad. And I'm like, what? don't pick daddy every time. He don't need the hundred dollars. One of the kids need one of my nephews and nieces, one of my kids, they need it. So, um, you know, so I, so that's what we do on Christmas Eve. And then we play games. Like we love that catch the poop game. Have you seen it? It's like a little toilet and everybody gets a chance and, and you flush the toilet and then poop shoots out. And then if you grab the poo, you, you won that round. So we give lottery tickets. We're big into competition in our family. And then we play spoons. I don't know if y'all know spoons. We play spoons and we like draw blood when we are running jump for the spoons. It's kind of like cakewalk that was in one of the like, um, the, the holiday books. Um, y'all, we are competitive at this house. It's terrible. I know it's terrible, but I cannot help it. I cannot help it. Um Let's see. Okay. So we're going to do another spinny wheel. Are y'all ready? Tammy Hudson Purple. Woo, Tammy, it is your week, girl. Ready? Purple. Woohoo. Let's see if we get purple. Purple, 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 purple. Woohoo, Tammy. Tammy, you got a $10 Amazon gift card. 
Good for you. Woo. So, Tammy, how am I going to get that to you? Is there messaging on YouTube? Email me, author tanyacappis at gmail.com. I have an e I have a I have a mailing address for you from back in the day, but I don't know if I have an email because I'll email you your gift card. Congratulations. How fun is that? We're gonna keep going, y'all. So I thought we would look at some more Christmas cards. I'm all about the cute Christmas cards. They're so cute. Everybody sends the prettiest cards. Look at these woodland animals. I love them. And so if you've got been following me along, you know, I have my fox which I don't even know where my thing is. I have my fox that lives here. <sighs> you guys, the other day, the, the alarm, the, the driveway alarm, because my driveway is so long. Um, and if I'm up here, I'm like, who in the world is driving up my driveway? Usually it's Amazon or FedEx. Um, but it was one o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, what is that? And then it goes off again. And then it goes off again. And it and it's like a bell. It goes, ling, 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 ling. ling. So again, my four bedroom, my four room home here is echoey and I jump out of bed. I'm like, who is driving up the driveway and making it go off like four times? So I flip on the floodlights and look aside and here goes four coyotes up the driveway. And y'all, I'm like, oh no, coyotes are bad. And that's like the fox, they don't bother nothing. But the coyotes, they are mean. And you know, I have the 17, I have, um, seven male turkeys with their big gooslers and I have the 10 female turkeys and, you know they roost they roost in trees so the other night I'm sitting here and I'm it was like 10 o'clock and I had the jigglies like I just couldn't calm down so I'm like I gotta go walk and Eddie's like it is dark I'm like let's go on a night hike in the woods he's like uh, okay so right now y'all it is hunting season in Kentucky but it's only during daylight hours so I know we're safe and nobody's hunting on my land and if they are they're gonna get hunted so anyways um what happened was that we went on a night walk and it was the moon. We both had flashlights. We're tracking up through the woods and um, I just love it up there. I get so emotional. The moon was so pretty. I could see up way up in the woods like, um, oh, so y'all know how I took y'all to see the lights over in Cincinnati. Oh, I wonder are they on tonight? I don't see them on. Hmm. I was going to show you. Are they out there? Well, they might not be on tonight. Okay. So anyways, I was going to show you because you can see those lights from here because they're over the river. Oh, you know what? You probably can't see it because it's so foggy. That's why I can't see anything. It is so foggy up here. Like the fog never lifted today. So we've been in a whole thing of fog. But anyway, so I went on our walk the other night. And did you know that turkeys roost in the forest trees? So at any given minute, we could pan our flashlight up and see a turkey roosting in the tree. And that's how they stay safe from these coyotes. But I just worry myself silly about these coyotes. I just don't like them. And they're scraggly and they're just not good, good, good peoples. So anyways, but look how cute that is. It looks like my owl on there, you know, my baby raccoons. I don't have any little, um, whatever those little hedgehogs that I know of, but isn't this a pretty little card? I love it. This is from Mary Ann. Isn't that cute? And then let's see, um, I got a beautiful praise the Lord. That's beautiful from my, our friend, Erin Hoffman. And she even put in some stickers, which I love. And then they start putting Eddie's name on stuff. I'm like, what, Eddie, why are they putting your name on stuff? Oh my goodness. Let's look at that little thing. Isn't that cute? Um, the little um, llama and she put little stickers on, which I've done. Like I peel off the stickers because I put them in my planner. Um, but anyways, hers is really cute. Warm winter wishes. Isn't that cute? And then she put a cute little biscuit recipe in there. Yummy, which I love. Look at the little Mary. She she made that. She put a little Christmas. I should put this recipe on our on our um, blog on my website on my blog. Do y'all know I have a blog on my website? Most of y'all do. So we have we have some Santa cards. Oh oh, I've done showed you that one, the one with the little thing, and then that one, and then here's a beautiful one. 
This is um, Be Still and Know. It's from our friend Karen. And then, oh, who doesn't love a good Snoopy card? It just makes me so happy. Let me tell you, I have YouTube TV. And the other day, they were showing Frosty the Snowman on YouTube. And they blocked it out because they said I would have, um, they that YouTube can't show it on my local channel. And I don't have an antenna, so I can't get the thing. So I was like, I couldn't watch Frosty the Snowman. I was so mad. Um, I was fussing. I might have cussed a little. It wasn't pretty, but I did it. So we always like a good Snoopy card. Isn't that pretty? Love your books from our friend, Lauren. She might be on here now. I don't know. So let's see who else is here. Um, I can't believe my mom has the same ceramic tree. Well, so yeah, Jen, um, my mom has the tree too. And a lot of people on here, my OGs know about the story, but I'll tell you real quick. When I was a little girl in the seventies, I used to go to the pottery place with her and um, she made one when I was a little girl and she still has it. And so my sister and I fight over it and we're in our fifties. And so we're like, we want mama's tree. But, um, finally when I was like, I'm, I'm going to go make my own tree. So one day I marched myself on over to that little my pottery mine place or whatever. And I made my own little tree. And then I FaceTimed my mama and my sister and said, I got my own tree. I don't need your tree, but I still want the tree. Mama still use it, but I still want it. I don't care. I still want it. Um, so Bonnie says it's nice there in Arizona. I love that. Have you guys been watching the great Christmas light fight? One of my favorite things to do is watch that show. All right. Karen says it's minus 27. Karen sent me a picture today of her home and it's snowy. I'm like, Karen, um, you're as fun to watch as your books are to listen to. Oh, Betsy girl, honey. Yeah, Rowena is back. She's putting her old booty. Don't put your booty in my card box, Rowena. Hey. Ow! See? I'm like, hey, look, she's going to bite me. Hi. Hi. <laughs> she's like, get your finger off my face. Anyways, um, Betsy, I'm a hot mess. Hot mess express. I've met a lot of these people. Our friend, Mary and Jane can tell you I'm just like this in person. I am a fruit loop. Oh, look who's here. Crystal. Where did I just saw your name pop up? I know Crystal. How are you? How are you today? Um, the new series is where in the camper, the new series is where in the camper world. I don't know what you're asking me there. What do you mean? The, oh, the new series. Oh, Violet. So Violet leaves in um, right before Thanksgiving, the Thanksgiving book, which is, um, but it's okay. You're not going to mess anything up. If you read Violet's books, um, you're, it's not, you're not going to get any crossover except, um, in campfire, campfires, courage, and convicts, um, they just kind of say, oh my gosh, did you know Violet is leaving? Um, Dottie does. And so um, then Violet's book picks up. So, and then Violet just, you know, has her own storyline. She doesn't talk about normal, like the camper books talk about normal. Um, so Violet's books is she gets, you know, she's always wanting that big job. I so could you try again? Siri thinks I'm talking to her. See, she's like, I didn't get that. Can you say that again? I need a Southern hillbilly Siri. Um, but anyway, so what happened is that uh, she finds a dead body on the plane on her way out for her big job interview that she's going to get and lands in this small town. There is, people go nuts. Readers are like, I didn't catch what state holiday junctions in because it's not set in Kentucky because they have to make an emergency landing. There is no, it's the state of my head. I, I don't have it in a state, but I made sure that it had all the landscape, everything I like. It has Oceanside. It has a mountainside in the small town with the wooded area. So there's all these places. Um, and then mama brought the Southern. So there was a Southern transplant, but it's not a Southern town, but her mama is bringing it. Um, so Violet had to make this emergency landing 
and then she's like, oh, they're like the social media, I'm going to videotape and I'm going to, um, you know, try to solve this case because they can't leave the airplane. The people on the airplane can't leave because they're all suspects because the person was found dead in the bathroom. Violet found, Violet had to take a tinkle. Not really. But the lady next to her, her seatmate kept showing her pictures of her grandkids. You know, those people, like I would tell people about my kids and I talk, talk, talk to people like, oh my gosh, I got to, excuse me, I got to go to the bathroom just to get away from me. Well, that is what happened. So Violet excuses herself, finds a dead body and they make an emergency landing and then she doesn't leave. So we're going to pull another color. So go back in, talk about and do another color. Um, and so let's see, Jane said Jenna is on her lap. Jane has the most precious cat. Um, Tammy says, yes, it's the same address. Great. I need your email address because I'm going to email you that gift card when we get off of here. You are so welcome. Everybody is saying congratulations. Maybe the winner for the prior year cannot win. Hmm. What's that mean? I don't know what that means, Janet. Um, we have that game we played at Christmas. Oh, maybe over oh, for, for my dad for ugly Christmas sweater. Yeah, but I know, but they always pick him. Oh, you know what he does though? Literally, he will take it and he splits it up between the grandkids. So they do get a little something, but it's still fun. And um, they have that game when we play at Christmas. Oh, I love it. So, oh yeah. And then recently we played the Hungry Hungry Hippo Live. And if y'all haven't watched that, I should pull it up again. And um, let me see if I can find it. And then as you guys are um, putting in your colors, then I'm going to play this video, share my screen. Um, and then I will play our um, Hungry Hungry Hippos uh, video. I'm sure I have it somewhere. Um Oh, here it is. Oh, y'all, it is something funny. So go ahead. I'm going to share my screen. And y'all, we're going to do one more spinny. And then we're also going to do the other book boyfriend. So let me share my screen. Share. And I'm going to let y'all uh, do that. Put your color in. And I'm going to show the Hungry Hungry Hippo video. All right. That's my brother-in-law, David, and my niece. There's two of my boys. I'm with the white shirt on and senior now. That's my nephew, Jen. There's Brady and his girlfriend, and his <laughs> <sighs> That is so funny. So there you have it. <laughs> did y'all get to see that, or did it, like, freeze? Oh my God. It's so funny. So yeah, so we played the hungry, hungry hippo game and um real life hungry. I know we're such hillbillies. I'm telling you, we love it. Hillbillies. Here's another hillbilly thing. Cause while y'all, I want y'all to all to be able to post a color. So I'm just trying to find some things to show y'all so y'all can um post. But um so here is some, let's see, uh, la, 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 videos. So we're just kind of hillbilly people. So here's another one I will show you. So all my family still gets together on Sunday after church. And we all have kind of like some musical talents. I did play the piano for 13 years, but I'm not playing the piano here. But you'll see my cousin Ishi, my Uncle James. Um, and so this is what it's like at one of our gatherings. So we'll <laughs>
<laughs> so when I say we're hillbillies, we are hillbillies. <laughs> so I hope y'all enjoyed that. Jen just started teaching her play, to play the piano. She loves it. All right, guys, let's see. Let's do another color. And orange. Well, and there's not really much of an orange on there, but we'll just say it's kind of like this color. How about that? So are you ready, Ann? Let's go with that orange. Let's see. Look at, oh my goodness. What is it, Ro? I gotta spin it again because it was funny. Look at Ro's face. She's like, what is going on? Ann, 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 Woohoo! Ann, you won a blind date. You want a blind date book. So you too win a blind date book. So if you can message me your mailing address, we will do that. Also, we're going to pick one more winner for the blind book date. And when I do that, I just kind of scroll my finger up and where it lands, it lands on Roxy. Oh, we lost audio. Oh, man. Well, Roxy, if you're still here, message me and you win a blind blind book date so um anyways you guys if you wanted to see the, the video because you didn't see it or you couldn't hear it it is on my youtube channel so anyways um thank you roxy message me your mailing address is so glad to you if you want something please make sure you message me i didn't write it down I'll remember some people, but Tammy Hudson, we got to get together and get your email address. So you guys, thank you so much for being here. I'm so glad that y'all are here. We, I just wanted to, I just come on on Tuesday nights and just hang out. I'm um, sorry. I'm stinky. I didn't plan my jazzercise class around this very well, but next Tuesday, we're going to go look at the lights. Next Tuesday six o'clock. But hey, if you're hanging around tomorrow night and you're bored, look around, come back around like 730-ish, and I'll probably be live with the Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Try to catch me. I think it starts at seven. But anyways, from me and Rowena, we saying bye. We'll see you guys later. Love all of you. All of you. I love you, love you, love you.